I'm Ryoichi Nagatomi from Tohoku University, Japan. Uh, we have had the honor of organizing the qualifying round for Falling Walls Venture All Japan in the past four years. And, and I served as, a jury, as a, the head of the jury for this year. And I'm very much excited to introduce Dr. Hideo Nioka, uh, the winner of a qualifying round with his excellence. But he also grabbed our heart with his passion to help suffering people with emerging technology in the, with the power of business. He was born in Japan, but, uh, but, but grew up in Germany. And finally, he, he, he gained his PhD in Max Planck Institute um, in his study for intellectual property. Uh, after working as a German attorney, he also gained a master's in law, his master's in law in, this, in Stanford School of Law. And after working as an uh, investment uh, banker in the field of technology and telecommunication, he launched his clean hearing in 2017. So let's listen to how he would blow off, uh, blow, blow, uh, blow down the wall of global health issue. Breaking the wall of tinnitus, Hidero Nioka, clean hearing. Professor Nagatomi, thank you very much for the kind introduction. It's an honor to be here. I'm Hidi of Clean Hearing. We are Kyoto University mid-stage startup, and we are tackling the market of tinnitus. It's uh, IoT, medical device, and it's an affordable, um, non-invasive um, home therapy device with um, data analytics on the cloud. We are um, in the late stages of CE, we are hoping to receive it next month. Moving on to the market, there are more than 400 million patients in tinnitus across the world. 50 million in the United States, 29 million in Europe, 140 million in China, 7 million in um, Japan. It's the number one reason for soldiers to leave the um, uh, military. Approximately 1.5 million veterans are receiving at the moment um, social benefits from the um, Department of Veterans Affairs in the United States. And 80% um, of the hearing loss cases are also tinnitus. And um, the causes for tinnitus are manifold. It can be damage through loud noise, it can be um, hearing loss, infection, inflammation, anxiety, stress, many others. And it starts off from minor irritation, it evolves to um, serious disability, it compromises social interaction, and also it's your mental health. And in average, people go 16 times to medical doctors, and they've been told there is no cure, or you need to live with it. So tinnitus has a massive impact in your life. And the current treatments in the field of tinnitus have real limitations. And you just need to cope with it, habituation, or you pay expensive treatments at the medical doctor. There is not a single medical, medical drug approved by FDA or EMEA targeting directly tinnitus. So there is a, a gap in the market tackling this situation. You know, it needs to be a non-invasive without side effect, and it needs to give the possibility of cure and relief. So this is what we have done. We've created um, special headphones together with a globally leading headphone manufacturer called Audio-Technica in Japan, and, and together a touch, touch screen um, controller. And we are applying a, a NASA thoroughly researched and scientifically proven technology called PMF, Pulse Electromagnetic Field. And the Pulse Electromagnetic Field was utilized for and has shown positive results for blood circulation, infection, inflammation, and also depression. And Clean Hearing is the only company which is applying literally a PMF directly onto tinnitus. And we are applying this, this special technology directly onto the special areas of brain and ear. And we are asking the, the users of the device to utilize it two to three times per day 
and each session 20 minutes. And, and we have shown in the past studies an efficacy of more than 60.9%. It provides possibility of cure and significant improvement. And as the next step, what we are trying to do is we want to expand this platform. It needs to become a platform. And we'd like to provide also wellness kind of content. And for investors, we are aiming to, to go global, uh, to, to IPO and M&A. And we are applying for FDA and also PMDA in, in Japan. That's...